I'm Paul Carson at the Artisan Society, and this is how to set up and shut down the OxyFuel rig. The OxyFuel rig has two tanks, the acetylene and the oxygen. The acetylene burns in the oxygen. The flow rate of these gases is controlled by these regulators. When you walk up to this system, what's most important is that it's been shut down properly. You should see all of these gauges reading zero and all of the regulator screws loose. If they're not, skip to the end of this video where we talk about shutdown and shut the system down properly before you start back up. The first thing to do is open the oxygen cylinder. You'll notice I'm standing opposite the regulator on the oxygen cylinder. I don't want to stand in front of it. If there's a regulator fire, I don't want to be shot with this screw. I'm going to open the cylinder very slowly. You'll see this come up to pressure. Then I will open the valve all the way. I'm going to repeat the process with the acetylene cylinder, but it doesn't matter where I stand. I will only open this valve about two turns. You want to be able to close it in a hurry if anything exciting happens. Now I'm ready to set my gas flow rates. I'm going to open my torch valves and screw in the regulator screw until I get to my desired pressures. For all of the welding tips, the straight ones that look like this that we use here at the asylum, the pressures are 5 psi on both oxygen and acetylene. Now that I have my flow rate set, I'm ready to light the flame. To do this, I'm going to need sheet and eye protection. When I light the flame, I will only use a striker. Don't use a cigarette, don't use a cigarette lighter, don't use a match, don't use any open flame. Only use a striker. I will open the acetylene very slightly, maybe an eighth of a turn, just so that the valve is open. And light the acetylene only. I'll then set the acetylene flame. It should be turbulent for about half of its length. You'll notice that here it's very smooth, there it's sort of feathered, that is the correct acetylene flame. Once I'm at this point, I'm ready to set my oxygen. I'm going to open the oxygen valve very slowly, and as I gradually feed in more oxygen, what you'll see is two distinct cones. There's a very short inner cone here and a longer outer cone there. As I increase the oxygen flow, those two cones will converge. They'll be the same length. Once they are exactly the same length, I now have a neutral flame. That is both the hottest and cleanest flame, the one you're most likely to use. Now I'm going to go do my work. I'm going to do my welding, or my bracing, whatever it is I need to do. Uh, when I'm done and I'm ready to shut this down, I'll shut off the oxygen on the torch first, then the acetylene, then I will purge the system. It is very important that you purge the system at this point. You don't want to leave any pressurized, volatile, or flammable gases hanging out in the welding shop. This is important for your safety and the safety of everyone else here. Shut the tank valves off. Open the torch valves individually. I'm going to do the acetylene first. You will see both regulator gauges go to zero. It will then loosen the regulator screw. I'm going to repeat the process for the oxygen. Once both gauges have gone to zero, I will loosen the regulator screw. That is to the left. It should come out. It should be loose. Now I'll close my torch valves. Pack up the torch so I don't bounce it off the floor when I move the rig and put it away. The system is safely shut down. I'm ready to leave the shop or do whatever else it is I need to do. Thank you.